Okay, let's start. Welcome everyone. Um, uh, I'm very delighted to be here. My name is Camilo Boana. I'm from the Development Planning Unit here in London. And I'm uh, privileged to be here with uh, several people uh, that I'm going to introduce in a second. And uh, someone online there. And um, we'll discuss and we open the debate um, later on. And uh, we are very happy to, uh, to launch the, the report, a working paper, so Disaster as Opportunity, Building Back Better in Nache, Myanmar, and Haiti, uh, written by Lilian Fan. And we have uh, several guests and speakers, and we'll um, um, I'll give them a bit of uh, about 10 minutes, more or less, to discuss, and then please hold your questions until the end. Uh, actually, we have a big question to answer, which is, can disaster become an opportunity? And of course, the topic of that would be related to the mantra, the label, the conceptual shortage of the building back better. We all know, we all work, and we'll keep working on that uh, concept uh, and operational element. So without any further ado, um, just a few uh, suggestions, please, can you turn silent your form would be highly appreciated but remember that you can tweet uh, whatever you want <laughs> and how much you want and the hashtag is uh, hashtag build back better so we really want your collaboration into that um, uh, we will have a bit of time in question and, and uh, later on and um, I'm just <coughs> introducing uh, briefly uh, the, 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 the speakers we have Lilian Fan which is the author of the report and, uh, pri and she's working as the uh, research fellow at the uh, IPG here at ODI. Prior to joining ODI, Lilian has served as housing land and property coordinator for the ISAC cluster system in Haiti and the advisor to the Asian Special Envoy on the post Nargis recovery in Myanmar. And she was a member of the advisory team of the governor of Aceh on sustainable development uh, uh, following the Aceh peace agreement in 2005. On my total left, we have Judah Silva, which is the founder and the director of Arup International Development. She has worked with non-governmental organization and UN agency, mainly in post-disaster context, having coordinated reconstruction of more than 60,000 shelters in Sri Lanka following the 2004 um, Indian Ocean tsunami. Her recent work has focused on resilience at both the community and urban scale and the delivery of infrastructure that improve access to basic services and reduce uh, vulnerability. Uh, connected via uh, Skype, we have Priscilla Phelps. Hello, Priscilla. We have 30-year uh, experience working on affordable housing, post-disaster housing, and community reconstruction and municipal finance. She's the Recovery and Reconstruction Advisor at the World Bank in the Global Facility for Disaster Reduction and Recovery, and she spent previously about two years in Haiti following the 2010 earthquake, where she served as housing sector lead for the Hinterim Haiti Reconstruction Commission and a project manager for the, and the author of the book Safer Home, Stronger Community, uh, published by the World Bank in 2010. And finally, we have Simon Levin, and which is a research fellow at uh, APG at ODI and specializes in livelihood, resilience, vulnerability analysis, and land right. So we are really, really happy to open uh, the debate. And uh, I'm just acknowledge that we are many here in the room, but there are much more people outside. There are about 150 people registered to attend the event. And I'm trying to address all the questions that comes later on diverting the traffic. So thank you very much all for coming. And I'm leaving the, the word to Lilian. So Lilian, over to you. Thank you. 